Bears. So I wanted to just make a, a quick video. Um, I recently found out that I had not completed the Chateau d'Ontel. Uh, I believe that's how you say it. Um, area in, I believe it's the uh, Emerald Graves area of the Thetis map. Um, I was trying to complete all my mosaic pieces. Shout out to Mr. Code Slinger for great videos that he made on where all of the mosaic pieces are located. Um, I'll go through that in this video, but I've seen a lot of it on uh, chess farms. And if you don't know what a chess farm is, it's basically uh, areas like dungeons and um, instant areas such as this, Chateau de Anterre. Uh, that you go into if you don't deplete the chest food inside you can continue to basically do a exit save which is leaving the dungeon so your game saves you exit to the main menu and you just hit continue you can go back in and then most of the time the chests are going to replenish themselves with new loot and that being said, you can oftentimes find many of the very rare and hard to find uh, schematics that you may want to obtain for crafting weapons and armor. And in this particular area, I have found that there are tier 2 and tier 3 chests. Uh, and this runs actually pretty quick. So I didn't loot any of the chests and deplete them completely. So when you first come in, you're going to want to go to the left hand side here and there's a door open up this door and we'll go straight up the stairway to the past the gallery and to the library the first chest you're going to come across is here to the left and if you haven't completed this area um, you know it's just like anything else um, in the game you know there's there's a story behind this and you have to do some legwork to get to the final door to open it up but it doesn't take very long at all I believe it took me about 10 minutes total to get this completed so relatively easy. So your last chest in this room is going to be all the way in the back corner here. And you can see here, here's a tier 2 Dwarven Helmet. I don't need that, so I'm going to leave it. But there's a good chance that that will replenish another tier 2 schematic for me in the future. So after you leave here, you come into the bed chambers. And there's two different bedrooms in here with some chests. Uh, this one has two on the side here. And any chests that I find that have gold, I always take the gold. If there's multiple items of uh, gray value, you know, less value, I'll take one or two of those uh, because you can just vendor those later for um, for money to the merchant. And then there's another bedroom here. And you come up top, I do believe, and yeah, back corner here. crappy longbow and then there's one chest on the way out there's some gold in there a lot of people say that this is kind of an exploit uh, but it's you know it's really kind of using the game to your advantage some of these schematics are very rare so what you want to do after you leave these bedroom areas there's a balcony with a window open right here so you want to hop up here and here's your first mosaic piece if you haven't collected it yet um, right here in this frame and there's a chest right here and here's another schematic with a tier 3 battle master male legs don't need that either not interested in it just want to hop down from there get low on health I like jumping off of things come through this this doorway and you're gonna go straight out the back the bottom it's really kind of hard to see in here at first until it lights up and what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to come all the way back to the corner of the right stay right side up these stairs and then right here on this second level tier is another chest this one has also had a few schematics a few times in there actually after the hunter coat legs uh, or the schematic for the hunter coat legs and I'm hoping that this will be fruitful because I've pretty much completed, as far as I know, everything else in the other areas with a good tier 2 chest. So 
this is basically all I have. So here I have two different things. I'll just take the armor because it's probably value, more valuable. And there's a back door from the fireplace. It's really hard to see. But you can use your... This is the door that will be locked. It's a balcony key that's required. So you have to do the preliminary quest initially to get it done. But if you just go through doing the quest to get this open and this area open... Um, just remember not to loot any of the chests, and if you accidentally do loot everything out of a chest and you realize you did that, uh, just reload the previous save that you had outside of, of Chateau de Ontier. Um, I would suggest making a new save right outside in case that happens so that you can just reload your save, start over, come back in, and uh, just don't loot everything out of the chest. This chest right here has a really good superb staggering ring depending on your level um, this chest particularly doesn't seem to change it's been that staggering ring I think that's hard set uh, as one of the items in the game here's another tier 3 blunt staff edge schematic I've also seen that earlier tower shield inquisition scout hat tier 2 rogue headgear schematic not interested in the inquisition scout hat just going to take the, the shield. And that pretty much concludes the, the run. I don't believe, if I recall, you just take this door here and then the door to the right and you're back in the library. Now, I jump off of here to save a little time. Um, obviously, you can do that a few times and you'll eventually uh, have to use a pot. But you just come right back out to where you started. Once you do it a few times, the run's really quick and easy, as you can see. It only takes a few minutes, and I'll do a subsequent run real quick, just so that you can see that the items of the boxes have changed. So, all you need to do is wait for it to load up, and wait for the automatic save to complete. Alright, so now you can see that the game is saving in the lower right hand corner. I'm just going to wait on that to disappear. And it's gone. So then you just go to exit menu. You say yes. Really, the most daunting part to a farm run like this is waiting on the game to load. If I only had a solid state. So, once you're here, you can just hit continue. And it'll load the save that we just made with all the chests inside that are still there that are not depleted. When we go back in, we should have a new round of, of new loot to hopefully end up with the schematic that we're going for. So it's a hunter coat legs for a rogue are the best legs uh, armor set to use and unfortunately those are just a random drop from tier 2 chests so not knowing that initially going through this play which is my only playthrough thus far um, I want to have things set up for a subsequent playthrough uh, using the golden snug for certain things such as that uh, to go ahead and save for in the future for future playthroughs on a on a rogue. So I really want this hunter schematic. I hope this this is probably my last chance of any area within the game to get this schematic. So I'm hoping it'll prove fruitful. I can only do chess farms for a limited period of time myself because it's so boring. There's really no action involved in it. Just doing the same thing repetitively over and over. So never been one to farm the same area for days and days and days trying to get a certain drop but these methods seem to be very effective for a lot of people so let's see what this first one has Vitar Helm hundred twenty four gold bandit shield reinforced vanguard All right. shields level 12 might be worth a little bit more not sure doesn't really matter. Your junk gray items. You just want to make sure that you do not deplete the 
chests. Take the gold, obviously. Always if there's two, you want to take the gold. It's quick, easy money. Come in here, straight to the left. Or Legion Mage Hat, Balance Raider Longbow. Take the longbow and the hat, leave the belt. Just take the great sword. And come to this back bedroom. Chest in the right hand corner. Only one item in there. Two hundred forty eight gold. I would say in about five runs that I've done this, I've come across a 248 gold or close to it. And obviously that door is locked from the other side so you can't even use it. I've tried to find better shortcuts. This is really, the, I think, the most efficient method of going through here. No schematic this time in that chest. But as you can see, the items have changed. And although it would take you a long time to effectively make a lot of money, uh, you still make some money doing this. Better than zero. So again, stay to the right when you come through there. And that dark hallway is really hard to see in. And it may take you a few runs to get used to the path. Here's a Masterwork Navarin sword. It's a tier two. That's what we're looking for. We want the hunter coat legs, but unfortunately, that's not what we got. Come into the dragon room, the ballroom. Back corner here. Reldon Tower Shield. Need that. Last room here. Better say. Has to work notch staff. Oh come on, just give me my hunter coat legs, please. And let's see. Yep, superb ring of staggering. Same ring that was in there. I'm pretty sure that that chest is just set in stone. They hard coated it in to uh, to be a reward for you know getting to this point and completing uh, the quest involved in here. So I'll leave the jade cameo. Take the armor instead in that box. Templar mace and a shield. We'll take the shield. Leave the rest. Back in the library. Jump over the side. And back out. Emerald Graves. And what the heck, I'll do one more run and then conclude the video. That way if you're still watching and you want to see the run a total of three times, you'll have a really good idea of which, which direction to go in. Now there are plenty of other videos out there that show some different chest farms. I tried a few uh, different areas that I had found that were only really tier 3 chests. And uh, at this point I don't need a whole lot of those. Um, tiers for, uh, for those. So it's not going to matter. I'm about to exit anyway. Have to heal when I get back in. So yeah, you always want to come out and wait for the game to save completely. And then go ahead and exit the game. And then as soon as you're there, hit continue.
And I guess while I'm here, I can show you sort of why I'm after the hugs. Um, particularly on this character, you know, Rogue, as it specified, has been tested and uh, seems to be that the um, Prowler armor is the best armor that you can get in the Hissing Waste, uh, as well as the uh, Prowler armor arms uh, schematic. Uh, you buy it from the, the merchant in the Hissing Waste. Um, I'm currently using an Agile cap, only because it has 18 dex dexterity on there. Um, but the masterwork that I've created is 288 armor, 30 dexterity, 10 heal bonus, 75 max health, 14 range defense. Um, it's a good set of armor, and that's, you know, what's listed as the best in the game. It's unfortunate the uh, Prowler legs that I have aren't the, uh, the best. The Hunter coat legs are the best, so that's what I'm trying to go for. Uh, the weapons that I'm using is a 533 DPS dagger and a 500 DPS um, offhand. I'd like to get a higher, but that's basically the luck of the draw when you go crafting weapons, whether or not the game gives you uh, super high stats. Masterwork is random as well, just like the rest of the RNG. So let's do this last run, see if we get any better schematics out of these chests. And I am live streaming this because I'm trying to save hard drive space and I didn't want to just create a 15 minute video uh, of play that I was doing and have to worry about time being cut off or constraints and don't really care to edit. So I figured I'd just live stream that way it's just already op uh, loaded up. So here we go again, you come in, first thing you do is go up to the library. First chest on the left. Got some gold. Raider Captain Blade in a helmet. So I'll just take the blade. Gold! And a Battle Mage Cow leaves the quartz. in here sharp left let's see and yeah, right back here junk gold getting some gold this run no schematics yet Just remember, if you mess up and you come in here and you actually deplete one of the chests and you want to start over, just load just load from right there your your uh, your previous save and you'll have to come back in and just start over basically. But you don't want to deplete the chest because then they're they're going to be empty and you can't use them anymore. Well, lots of gold this run. But yes, doing this is very boring. There's no action. I've already killed all the dead people that were in here so and they were undead reinforce the channel I was hoping that was gonna be a schematic this time but it's not it's giving me junk Don't need no stinking hammer. And staggering ring, yep. 
That's hard set. You probably just end up looting that. If you need that ring, I would say get it because it's not going to change. Subsequent subsequent runs coming back in is not going to change what's in there. Here's some superior battle mage armor. Sometimes you'll see that if there's two items, it'll definitely take the better of the two. That's that's it. That's the run. Back through the library. Jump over the edge. And back outside. Well, that pretty much concludes the video. Hopefully it'll be helpful to somebody if you use this method to farm and you get some good stuff. You know, leave some comments for me and let me know that you got what you're looking for. Um, still trying to get my hunter coat leggings. So, hopefully, I don't know how much of that, more of these runs I can endure without being bored to death, but hopefully I can end up with them sooner or later. I think I'll leave Chateau d'Anterre the way it is and use this as a quick run to come back hit a few runs through see if I can't get the uh, get the schematic I'm after but thanks for watching take care have a nice day